Hey, how's it going? This is a bit of a janky video. It's a little, <laughs> a little bit late for me. It's nearly 11 o'clock, but I promised a friend I would make this video and explain how to do this because it makes your life so much easier when you're editing video. So um, let me go ahead and jump into the OBS window and we'll talk about how to split up your audio so that you can separate things and make your life a hundred times easier when editing your stream clips and entire videos in Premiere or any editing software for that matter. Okay, so here we are in OBS. This is a window you're gonna be very familiar with. Um, now, I'm gonna try and make this as simple as I possibly can, and I'm doing this all in one take so that you can kind of walk through it with me. Uh, but essentially, you're gonna have one audio track that is just sent to Twitch or whatever streaming service you use. That one track is everything you see here, microphone, gameplay, music, the whole lot. Then we're going to also set up a bunch of individual tracks that you can separate in Premiere Pro. It's It may sound a little bit complicated, but it's, it's super simple. When you open up your settings, go to Output. And now at the very top here, you're going to see Track Select. Now this is the track, the music track that you send to Twitch. Okay, so this is going to be everything all put together. In this case, we're going to choose track number one. It's grayed out for me because I've got this little vertical window recording on the side. But track number one, because trust me, it just makes sense. That is your stream everything audio. In recording, if you go down here, you want to select everything, all of these checkboxes. I don't use number six, but select all the way to five just to make things easier. Okay. So not only will you be recording, be recording track number one, which is your stream audio to make life easier, but you also have one, two, three, four additional tracks for individual audio sources. Okay. So make sure those are checked. Now, when we go over here, we want to select this and then go to Advanced Audio Properties. This is where you select which audio source goes to which track, okay? So, in this case, you can go ahead and select this and it will show all of your audio sources that you have in OBS. But for me, we'll just run with this for now, okay? So, all of these, track number one, like I said before, track number one is going to be the audio that you send to Twitch. So, for this, you want everything. Microphone, gameplay, music, everything that you're going to be using while streaming. Now, all of these from two to six, these are the audio tracks that you're going to be able to edit individual sources for in Premiere. So for me, I've got my microphone, so there's track number two. Okay, so let me show you exactly what this means. If we go to Premiere Pro and import this little test footage that I put here, voila. It's like we were saying before, track number one up here, that's going to be everything all put together. Okay, music, microphone, the lot. This is a test clip so you can see the differences between the audio tracks. Okay, now track number two, like I said, over here in OBS, track number two is just my microphone. So in OBS, if we del if we mute track number one and we only listen to track number two, this is a test clip so you can see the differences between the audio tracks. That's it, just microphone. And also over here, we have my PC, which also includes my music. You can separate individual sources like Minecraft or Fortnite and just have that. But for this case, it's my music, okay? Because it records all of my PC audio. So that's on track number three. Again, if we go to Premiere and just play audio track number three, the music is there and nothing else. And the reason for that is because, each, like I say, each of these layers are individual sources and that's it. So set up whatever you need here, okay? So you may want uh, Elgato audio and then stream alerts and everything like that on different layers. That's all you have to worry about for OBS. Now, when you come over to Premiere, the reason we do this is because say you're playing some copywritten music, which you shouldn't really be doing on stream, but nobody's judging you. Okay, you can just go ahead and delete it. And then you can replace it when you put it on YouTube so you don't have to worry about demonetization and things like that. Or, very simply, you can change the audio level. So if your music's a little bit too quiet, which mine is, this is a test clip so you can see all you have to do is just pump that up. There's a test clip so you can see the differences between the audio. So if you make any mistakes or the audio level is a little bit weird during streaming, you can fix that in post so that everything is pristine and perfect for your YouTube videos. Or you can simply delete that and put in a brand new audio track if you're making a montage. Or perhaps you want the monologue in there. You can do anything you want. There's so much flexibility and this is why editors love it. Because there's no, how do I remove this music track? Or this feeling doesn't fit with this. It just makes life so much easier. And also another reason to do that is because Premiere Pro is a lot more versatile when it comes to adding things like audio and, and microphone effects and things like that. So you can go ahead and add, I don't know, a, a reverb straight onto your microphone and then keep everything on your stream exactly the same. So that's pretty much it, honestly. Um, 
there you go. You have your individual audio sources set up. But one thing to note, if you play it all at the same time, it's going to sound a bit weird. This is a test clip. So don't do that. Uh, when you import it all, you can even just have track one playing and delete everything else like so. And that will be everything that your stream heard or simply delete the stream track and then change each of the individual layers. It makes life a lot easier. So uh, there you go. That is pretty much how to have individual audio tracks in Premiere. I hope this helped. Sorry, I feel like I'm just rambling at this point. But uh, any questions, leave them down below. And I'm more than happy to help. This is my extra channel. If you haven't already, checked out my main channel. Lots of gaming content. It's very fun. And uh, yeah, good luck streaming.